Go ahead, George. Go on and, and, and fly away, babe. Just be free. He was clearly an innovator. He was cocky. He had a great haircut. We didn't really have that much money. We only just really had enough to feed ourselves. I think with George, it wasn't his ambition to be in the Beatles for his whole life. You see, if you have pictures and read articles about you know, George Harrison, you don't realise that it's actually about yourself. It's like a marriage. You love each other, but you're getting fed up. We knew that he was peaking. George liked to surround himself with people that were good at something. What I feel. He'd mortgaged his house to put up the money for this movie because he wanted to see it, which is still the most anybody's ever paid for a cinema ticket. Well, we got to do something, you know, with our lives. He comes in to me because he'd been to India again, I think. He said, oh, I've got this song. I think we shared a lot of tastes, cars or clothes, and, he, and women, obviously. Here comes the sun. I was being treated like the Messiah or something. Mr. Chapman shot John Lennon. You know, if someone said you can have everything in five lifetimes or you can have a really intense one, he would have said, give me the one, I'm not coming back here. People always say, I'm the Beatle who changed the most, but really, that's what I see life is about. You have to change. 